What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out Guilty Gear on the uh, 1X player and I'm going to show you guys the settings that I recommend for it um, for it to run at uh, I guess full speed 60 FPS and uh, let's get right to it. So Guilty Gear like a few other games have this kind of resolution uh, glitch as you can see it's not centered it's in a strange position and I, that's partially that's partially because the um, of the resolution of this device so in order to fix that all you have to do is click this button which is the desktop button and for some reason it fixes it and we're back at full screen don't ask me why but uh, that's this is not the first game that's like that and uh, you know it's it's useful to know not to panic when you see that and say hey I can't get to the menus and stuff it's something I don't know a glitch in the matrix so I just wanted to reiterate that um, finally for the first time I have the metrics up there and I just figured out how to do that because I actually never tried to do that but someone gave me the idea so I said oh you know what that's pretty good for the channel alright so let's get to uh, gameplay oh yeah you'll hear that uh, strange sound the first time you press a button whenever you load up the 1x player and hopefully this video is clear enough. I know it's a little bit bright. There we go. Um, yeah, the game takes a second to get into the servers. So I wanted to talk about fighting games. And even though I'm not a huge Guilty Gear fan, in fact, this is my first Guilty Gear I've ever had, uh, I thought this would be a good game to start you off and explain to you um, and, and show you guys how this directional pad works. So the directional pad is great. Uh, it works good for uh, most fighting games, but there there is a downside to it as far as like if you're a directional pad player. Um, if you play with the analog stick, then this won't pertain to you because the analog stick is very uh, responsive. It's perfect. The directional pad is also responsive, um, but it's not perfect. It does have some, like if you're a person that plays fighting games like me on a directional pad, you'll notice that the concept of quarter circle forward should be quite simple. Um, but if you, but, but the thing is, um, that's why I'm using Guilty Gear Strive for this example, because Guilty Gear Strive will show you the inputs that you put on at the bottom. And, and then you'll see what I mean about this directional pad. Now, I've used many directional pads, like with the uh, the GX Pro, the uh, Joy Cons. I've used many different Joy Cons. So far, out of all the different directional pads I've used, other than the uh, official Xbox uh, 360 and well PS4 and all that, this is the better one. That's not attached to a console. The best. It's responsive. It's on time. There's no delays. The only thing is the inputs, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean when I get to uh, training. Oh, I meant to show you guys the settings, so let's do that first. And I'll show you guys the settings I use. Just copy my settings as a starter. As a starter, you don't have to do exactly what I do, but, you know, to start you off, and then you can work your way up or down from there. So with this setting, we get 60 FPS. Um, it does dip down a couple of F FPS sometimes. Obviously, that's not good for fighting games, but you can turn some things down. Uh, you could probably turn the resolution scale down to 50% because remember, we're on resolution 2560 by 1600. And the reason behind that is because of the, the overall resolution of this device. Uh, it, it has a problem negotiating with the game. So if you turn down the resolution, then, you know, that... that uh, the thing that you saw where it first started up when the resolution was like weird will happen again and then you'll have to figure out what's the best window full screen windowed option so right now we don't have to use full screen windowed because um because we have it in full screen already uh with the full resolution but you have to switch it to full screen windowed if you change any of this it's just a scaling issue anyway um so i have the scaling internally at 66%, which I'm guessing is around 1080p or 720. I'm not sure of the mathematics behind it. Uh, everything on high, MSAA on. Um, 
ambient occlusion on motion blur on that's pretty much it you don't get that many settings with this game um but anything you feel like you want to turn down because you don't want to lose that couple of fps on turbo mode then uh you know i would say turn down the anti-aliasing because that's not going to affect the well it might affect the way the uh, the light the video looks i mean i don't know you guys can mess with it everything's pretty much on high so you're not gonna have a problem mostly okay and i've played a few fights and all that i just never went to rank match or anything like i said this is my first guilty gear so don't expect any professional work here but it's just basically to show you guys that it does work and it does look nice and crisp and sharp even though we're scaled down i don't know if you guys can tell from my camera i'm trying to zoom in a little bit anyway let me show you guys uh some gameplay and i'm gonna show you guys what i mean about the directional pad now this will be fine if you're an analog stick player if you're a directional pad player like me um then there's some things you should watch out for and i'm gonna show you right now okay so let me see if I can get the lighting better on the directional pad so you see the uh, you see how you know this is fine up and down is fine diagonal is fine at standalone the problem with this controller is diagonal you can just tap you'll get there up down left right you could just tap you'll get there down diagonal is really you have to press it harder than everything else so if you're a type of gamer that has to, that, you know, plays crazy on the controller when they're playing, uh, you probably won't have that problem because you probably exaggerate on the buttons a lot. But if you're a person that's really calm at playing fighting games and you just, you know, want to simply quarter circle, you really have to exaggerate. I'm sorry my lighting, but okay. You really have to, you can't just go like that. It'll just do diagonal. It'll go from this line. That's working for me now. But I think it's just, you have to like break it in. I think that's what it is. You see how I just went diagonal, straight diagonal and you missed all of this bottom part? Sometimes it just does that because you're not putting enough pressure to make sure it hits those points. So it's just a matter of preference. There's nothing wrong with the controller. It's just you have to get used to it. So, so if I wanted to do a super, in this game you can do super that way when you're exaggerating it. Or you could do super if it goes if it goes diagonal like that too. Well, I'm, I'm at the wrong direction. But anyway, it does go all the way through. But sometimes it just goes straight diagonal. It doesn't touch the bottom part unless you put a little bit more pressure in the bottom right or the bottom left. And that's only the bottom parts. I'm not sure why that is, but that's just how the controller is set up. So that's fine when you're just doing quarter circle forward actions like that. Because even if you go diagonal, it'll still put the input in. But if you're doing complicated stuff like Yori's super, I don't know. If you have to do down, back, and then down, forward real quick, twice or something like that. It may not come out because, because of that. But I just wanted to give you guys an example of that. It's not a game changer. It's not a game killer. It's, uh, it's just a little annoyance that uh, you're going to notice if you're playing directional pad. Like I play King of Fighters. I play Street Fighter. This is the first game I play that's like this. But I just wanted to show you guys it does work. But you just have to get used to the controls. You see how it's going diagonal. It's not going across. That's because I'm not pressing it in that direction very hard. But if you exaggerate all your specials, like for instance that attack, right? Okay, well that attack doesn't matter if you go all the way across, but but you see what I mean. In certain fighting games, that might be that might matter because the input is not is not there. But anyway, as far as gameplay, we're not gonna have a problem playing this. Um, of course, I don't know what I'm doing because this is my first Guilty Gear. But you're not gonna have a problem running this game. I promise you that. Uh, with the uh, TDP at turbo mode. It'll pretty much stay at 60 FPS for the most part. And maybe you'll drop a frame here or there, but then you could turn some stuff down because everything's on high settings. But I just wanted to introduce you guys to that real quickly, that that is a thing that you're going to have to uh, consider with the directional pad because this is not like the GX Pro where you could just change it out to a Joy-Con that you, that you like better. Um, 
Also with these settings, there's a little bit of a shine effect. I don't know if that's the, the way the game is or, or something like that, but there's kind of a shiny sprite. That could have something to do with the, uh, I'm thinking that might have something to do with the, uh, the settings here. The anti aliasing or whatever you call it, settings. So let's check that real quick. Let's see if there's any change there. But yeah, you won't have a problem playing this. Well, maybe that's motion blur. I don't know. Hmm. Let's take motion blur off. And let's just put FXA on and see if that's an issue. Because the shine effect is very noticeable. Alright, let's go back to uh, the dojo and see if it's still there. Then we'll know. Then we'll know what to take off for that. Okay, it's not there in this screen, but it wasn't on this screen. It was during the gameplay. Yeah, the character's a little shiny. A little strange for a fighting game. Let me see if that had to do with... Nope, it's still like that. Maybe that's just how this level is. I don't know. You tell me, guys. But anyway, it's... Other than that, it plays fine. You're not going to have a problem playing this. Like I said, it'll drop a, FP, a, a couple of FPS sometimes. Um, if you want to avoid that, just turn one of the settings down. And um, like maybe one of the detail settings down. And you should be good to go. Alright? Yeah, sorry I haven't been able to make too many videos as often as I wanted to. It's because uh, um, I've been going through a family loss. And it's been pretty much kicking my ass so if you guys want to see any other games just let me know and i'm happy to put some more videos up i already have a lot of requests on games to try and that was one of them but i wanted to introduce the issue with the fighting games it's not an issue because it's better than this i haven't found a good a perfect joy con yet that that you could do quarter circle forward with without having uh issues but um so far out of all of them to me it's better than the ps5 controller the ps5 controller it, 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 I guess it gets the job done because it's separated, but I guess I'm just used to the PS4 controller style, but that's just me being, uh, you know, picky. But as far as functionality goes, this is the best directional pad I've seen. I mean, you ain't going to have any issues with this um, compared to the original GX Pro controllers for fighting games. Now, if you're an analog stick game player, like I said, the analog stick is very accurate. It's perfect no lag no issues it moves to when you move the corners that you move and everything's all good anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll make another video in a sec